creating great art with AI tools has been getting so expensive. Every month, I pay $30 for Midjourney, $20 for ChatGPT and Dali, $35 for Runway, and it is burning a hole in my pocket. On one hand, I want to create amazing AI images, but on the other, I don't want to have to spend this much money doing it. That's why I am delighted to announce the sponsor of this video an AI image tool that lets users generate 1,200 images a month without paying for a thing. I'm talking about cgdream.ai, and I love it. This site has such a good model that you will be creating amazing images like these in any style you want right away. Of course, they've got text image, which lets you create amazing artworks from any text prompt. They've got image to image, which lets you upload an image you like and use the AI to either make changes, enhance it, or just upscale it. And on top of that, they have a unique feature set that has really impressed me. They let you upload or browse from a collection of 3D models to generate images from. And within your browser, you can move those models around and generate art of your subject from the exact angle you want. They've also got a prompt enhancer called Dream Up. They've got their own version of InPainting, a Discord community, and they've got a filter recommendation system that gives you a lot of control over the style of what you're generating. Believe me, each one of these features is better than the last, and I'll show you how to use them all to create amazing artwork without paying a single penny. And make sure you watch to the end, because they've also given me early access to a feature I think we've all been waiting months to get our hands on, and that is starting with an image and generating a 3D model from that. All of this on one single site. Let's get into this. When you open the link in the description and create your free account, you'll see this beautiful gallery of what people have been making here. On the bottom is where you can enter your text prompt. Generating an image is as easy as typing something in. How about an urban chic photo of a sad young man with poofy hair and a round face? Twilight portraits, soft blues and purples, gentle shadows, mysterious and enchanting atmosphere. Up in the top right is your parameters. Here, you can control the aspect ratio, the number of variations you'll create, how closely the AI should follow the prompt, as well as things like the seed, negative prompts, and quality. Premium users can also make their images private if they want, so it doesn't end up in everyone's gallery, but I'm happy with the default settings for now. So I'll click Generate, and it looks great. Every single part of the image matches exactly what we're going for. This is clearly the sad young man with poofy hair that I was after. And you can do this with any prompt you want. In addition to that, down here we have Upload. Upload does exactly what you think. You can drag a file into the uploaded image, and because of the proper initial image, unlike Midjourney, you can make it so it looks just like it started. So if we want to turn this watercolor into a bit of embroidery, we could say, embroidery of a sushi roll on fine cloth with bright colored yarn. And you'll see here on CD Dream how you build a prompt. So of course you have your text prompt, but you also have your image here. You can adjust the resemblance, how close you want the final result to look like your original. If we want it to look a lot like it, have it still be a watercolor and have it still be exactly the Shiba Sushi roll, we'd leave this high. If you wanted it to use it as inspiration like Midjourney was, you would leave it low. Let's put this somewhere in the middle and click generate. Always whatever you create ends up in my images. Generations for free users can take a little bit of time, but let's let this generate for a little bit longer and I'll cut right back. And there you have it. Here is our yarn version of the same sushi roll we had. You can see the original and what we created. See how it's from the same angle, using the same colors, and looks almost identical. This is really useful if you want fine control over your images. But there's another feature that does that even better, and that is recommended filters. You can see, based on the prompt that we've written, CG Dream knows that we might want an embroidery style filter. We can add a bunch of different filters from anywhere in this list that are recommended in order of what their AI thinks makes the most sense, and then control them just like we controlled the resemblance to the image. So if we want mostly an embroidery style with a bit of knitted wool and hints of Japanese and just that tiny little touch of frost macro, we can do that. 
click generate, and we'll see we get an impressive variation of our image that both sells the embroidery yarn style as well as an actual sushi roll. This avocado and tuna really looks a lot, lot better. And this is such a cool way to play around with your style rather than having to write a huge complicated prompt. Speaking of, we can clear all this out and show you how good it is at writing prompts for us. We write delicious burger, click this button for dream up, it turns that two word prompt into something amazing. Not only does it write this much more complex prompt, but it also adds filters and chooses weights for them to create as high quality an image as it can while creating this beautiful style. This looks delicious. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> this is amazing if you need inspiration or want their model to come up with ideas for you. But what I really love is when you have a clear idea of what you want. Using 3D models works just like image prompts does. You can pick one from their list or upload it, choose a strength, and also add filters if you want them. If you want to turn this guy into a close-up, three-quarter angle of a Hispanic woman with sunglasses, you can do that. Once it's generated and you decide you actually want her to have purple hair to go with her sunglasses, you can click here to open in painting, draw over her hair, and change the prompt to match and it turns out fantastic. But sometimes, depending on what the image is for, you'll need a higher resolution. And for that, CG Dream delivers once again. You can always click here to upscale it and literally double the amount of detail. So if we zoom in now, we can see how amazing she looks with this super resolution feature. This is a cool workflow, but you realize it gets supercharged when this new feature comes out where you can generate the 3D model you wanna work with. So if one time you generate this carving of a frog, you can click this button to turn it into a 3D model, move it around in your browser like this, and it's easy to write a simple prompt to get this unique over-the-shoulder shot of a frog in a pond. I have to say, at times, the free version of CG Dream can be a little slow, since it puts your prompts in a queue and premium users get priority. But the fact that you can generate hundreds and hundreds of images like these is amazing. And as you can see, the results are worth the wait. Make sure you check out the link in the description to try this for yourself for free. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.